Ever wonder why we're so obsessed with the idea of killer robots? We've been trained by Hollywood to fear a robot uprising. But what if the real danger of AI isn't a machine with a vendetta, but something far more subtle and already here? What if we could use AI to cure diseases, solve climate change, and unlock a new era of human potential? That's a beautiful thought, Alex. But while you're dreaming about the future, I'm thinking about my patients today. What happens when the same AI that could save a life also decides someone isn't worth the resources? Okay, so dad's question is the big one, but to understand the risks, we have to grasp the sheer scale of the possibility. We're not just talking about smarter chatbots. We're on the verge of creating artificial general intelligence, or AGI. Think about it like this. The AI we have now is like a calculator, brilliant at one thing. AGI would be like a human brain, capable of learning and understanding almost any intellectual task. But the real leap is artificial superintelligence, or ASI. That's an intellect far beyond any human genius in every field. Here's a fact for you. A 2022 survey of AI researchers found that the median respondent gave a 10% or greater chance that an inability to control AI will cause an existential catastrophe. The people building it are taking the risk seriously. But imagine what we could do with that power. An ASI could design a cure for Alzheimer's in an afternoon. It could solve climate change by designing new materials that capture carbon from the air. It's about tackling problems that are too complex for the human mind. The potential is limitless. This isn't science fiction. The godfather of AI, Jeffrey Hinton, left his job at Google specifically to warn about AI's existential risk because he believes it's that powerful. We need to be very careful with artificial superintelligence. The risks are enormous and potentially existential. The core idea is what's called an intelligence explosion. An AGI could be tasked with improving its own intelligence, leading to a cycle of recursive self-improvement that leaves human intellect in the dust. We're talking about a jump from human-level intelligence to godlike intelligence in a potentially very short time. An intelligence explosion, godlike intelligence. It's incredible to think about. As a doctor, my job is to translate the incredible into the practical. So let's ask an ethical checkpoint question. What does this actually mean for people today? While we're worrying about a hypothetical superintelligence, AI is already making decisions that affect millions of lives, and it's not always getting it right. Let's talk about jobs. Goldman Sachs predicts that up to 300 million full-time jobs could be lost or degraded globally due to AI automation. How can I help you? We're talking about administrative assistants, customer service agents, even truck drivers. <sighs> These are the people who keep our society running. And it's not just about job loss. It's about fairness. 99% of Fortune 500 companies use AI to screen job applicants. But what if the AI, trained on decades of biased data, learns that a successful candidate looks and sounds a certain way? The ACLU is already challenging these tools for discriminating against people based on race, or even for having a medical condition like depression that might affect their tone of voice in a video interview. This isn't a future problem. It's happening now, and it gets even more frightening. In criminal justice, predictive policing algorithms are being used to tell police where to patrol, but they're trained on historical arrest data, which we know is biased. So the AI sends more police to minority neighborhoods, which leads to more arrests, which proves the AI was right. It's a discriminatory feedback loop laundered through a machine to look objective. So Alex, while you're looking at the stars, I'm looking at the ground beneath our feet. How do we build this amazing future if the foundation is cracked? How do we ensure this technology serves everyone, not just the privileged few? You're right, 100%. We can't ignore the present day harms, but these aren't unsolvable problems. They're design challenges. The bias you're talking about, that's because we've been building black box AIs where we don't understand how they make decisions. That's why the field of explainable AI or XAI is so critical. 
Scientists are developing techniques to force the AI to show its work, to translate its complex decisions into something a human can understand and audit. This allows us to find and correct the biases you're talking about. Accountability. If an AI denies someone a loan, you can ask it why. Exactly. And it's not just a technical fix, it's becoming law. The European Union just passed the AI Act, the world's first comprehensive law for AI. It completely bans things like government social scoring and puts strict requirements on high-risk AI used in hiring or policing. Companies that don't comply face massive fines. That's the kind of thing that gives me hope. Guardrails. It's like medicine. A powerful new drug needs rigorous clinical trials and FDA approval. It sounds like we're finally starting to think about a similar process for powerful new algorithms. It's more than just hope. It's a new model for innovation. The Council of Europe is even working on an international treaty for AI focused on human rights. The goal is to build a world where AI is developed with safety, fairness, and human dignity baked in from the start, not bolted on as an afterthought. That brings me back to my world. If we can get this right, if we can build AI that is explainable, accountable, and fair, think of the possibilities. An AI that could analyze a patient's chart and spot a subtle drug interaction that a human doctor might miss. A tool that could help us diagnose rare diseases earlier it could become the most powerful diagnostic tool in history, but only if we trust it. And that trust has to be earned. Exactly. The visionary and the pragmatist. We need both. We need the dreamers to push the boundaries of what's possible. And we need the realists to make sure we're building that future on solid ground. We have to be able to hold two ideas in our heads at once. That AI could be the best thing to ever happen to humanity. And it could also be one of the most dangerous. With questions on our mind. Navigating that paradox is the great challenge of our time. Remember to stay true to yourself and never give up on your dreams. Because the future of AI is too important to be left just to the experts. It belongs to all of us. What are your biggest questions or concerns about AI? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to keep exploring the future with curiosity and wisdom, make sure to subscribe. 